Okay, okay. Is it a YCEE -E an acronym? Yeah, um, basically, initially, YC was Young Carter. Okay. Young Carter and Ton. Carter standing for Crazy Advanced Rapper Terrorizing Every Other Rapper. That's mm -hmm. C-A-R-T-E-R. -E and, you know, most times if they ask me what, what the two E's are for, I just say I added two E's because these rappers make it too easy. Okay. So it's, it's, it's just, you know, mm. yeah. What else do you do apart from music, maybe outside the box? What do you do? Is it only music right now well, or is there something else you do? No, aside, aside from being a student, I'm studying marine science in the university. Aside from that, I, I play football. Not professionally, but you know, I would have played professionally if I wasn't doing music. But I play football very well. Um, I'm also, <coughs> I would, I would like to say I'm a iPhone photographer. Oh really? You do photography? <laughs> yeah, but not you know not elaborate photography. I just I really really I have a I have a thing for photography. I like you know taking pictures and mm. stuff like that. And I'm also I I also love art, creative arts, and all that stuff. So I, wow. I appreciate it a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Can you tell a brief of a history from where you started music till now? Yeah, okay. Um, I, I basically started music right after I finished secondary school because I didn't get into university immediately. So I had like one year space to do whatever I wanted. Right. So I, I started, I tried to get a job at a fast food restaurant and I worked only two days there because it wasn't it wasn't really <laughs> two days <laughs> yeah because i was i was basically doing everything like they were overworking me to a certain extent because i was just a teenager and i was you know i see yeah doing a lot of stuff so the second after the second day my mom woke me up and said it's time to go to work and said i'm not going again <laughs> so yeah, this young one <laughs> yeah so at the time i just i just i saw music as a way for me to keep myself busy all right. At, during that period, this was 2011. I'd never been to a music studio before because I couldn't afford a session. It was really, it's really expensive. Mm -hmm. So what I would do at the time, my elder brother, who's currently my producer, he produces for Tiny Entertainment, Beast by Karma. So he had a laptop and a headphone. These headphones that have microphones attached to them. So what we would do is we would go to cyber cafes. We would download instrumentals of popular songs, and we'd go back home in our bedroom we'll shut the door shut the windows and just you know turn it into our own studio and basically record over virtual dj so that's that's my first experience at recording then after some time uh neighborhood artists started trying to get me on their song so that's when i started you know going into the studio and recording on other people's songs so in 2012 i recorded like so many freestyle covers of different songs so i basically took 10 of them and I put them online and I put out a mixtape, the Remix Killer mixtape. And a friend of mine that we went to secondary school together, his elder brother is currently my CEO of Tiny Entertainment, Tiny. So he took the songs and he played it for his brother. And at that time, Tiny was looking to set up Tiny Entertainment. So I had, I met with him. And for me, music was just a hobby. I was just doing it because I, I knew how to rap. And, you know, I really didn't take, take it seriously because... I mean, I was from a educationally oriented home where, you know, if you're not, you, you have to go to school, you have to get a degree and all that. Like my mom really initially didn't want to hear that. Oh, I say I want to do music. I want to be a musician and all that. Yeah. So she was only letting me do it because she just felt it's a phase. After some time, I'll get tired and I will, you know, focus on school. So when I met with Tiny, he, you know, he promised to take the music to the next level, provide promotion. And he basically got me into the studio for my own personal studio session for the first time. So, I mean, I signed to Tiny Entertainment August 2012, and I released my first official single December 2012. Coming to Tanzania, yeah. like in Nigeria, uh, who inspires you? Apart from artists from maybe international or Nigerian yeah. in Tanzania, who inspires you? Who do, do you admire more? I mean, you know, I think I would say I admire Diamond because I remember the very first time I I ever heard of Diamond was when he did the song Number One. Okay. You know, it, it was played on TV a lot. And then he did the remix with David Doe and I think they performed at the Mamas yeah. that year. And, you know, I mean, he's he's someone that's really grown in 
in the space of time from that point till now yeah. you know he he puts out his videos are always you know top notch his his songs are top notch his collaborations are top notch so i mean his his work ethic is something i really admire it just goes to show that he takes his work very seriously yeah. and he also loves making music so i mean i admire diamond's work ethic <laughs>